In Google Analytics, a visit, or session, is defined by 30 minutes of inactivity, or when a user quits the browser. You can change the 30-minute default by calling Set Session Cookie Timeout, as shown in the slide. Simply specify a new timeout value in milliseconds as the argument to set session cookie timeout. By default, a conversion can be attributed to a campaign that is up to six months old. But if your business has a longer or shorter marketing campaign time frame, you can change this value. Just call set campaign cookie timeout and specify your new campaign length in milliseconds. For example, let's say that you want to set a campaign length of 30 days. To figure out the number of milliseconds that is, type 30 days in milliseconds into Google search. The search engine will give you the answer which you can plug into set campaign cookie timeout. Google Analytics attributes conversions to the campaign that most recently referred the visitor. For example, let's say that someone discovers your site by clicking on one of your AdWords ads. Then they come back to your site by clicking a banner ad that you've tagged with campaign variables. This time they convert to one of your goals. By default, the banner ad will get the credit for the conversion, not the AdWords ad that originally referred them. To change this behavior, you can tag all of your campaign links with UTM underscore no override equals one. If you do this consistently with all of your campaigns, Google Analytics will attribute conversions to the first referring campaign instead of the most recent one. Note that the UTM no override setting can be used in conjunction with auto tagging. Google Analytics automatically tracks referrals from over 30 search engines. But if you want to add a search engine, you can do it by calling Add Organic in your Google Analytics tracking code. First, perform a search in the search engine and look at the URL of the search results page. In the URL, look for the keyword you searched for. It should be preceded by a letter and an equal sign. This letter is the query variable for the search engine. In the example, the query variable is P. Add a call to add organic in your Google Analytics tracking code. The first argument is the name of the search engine. The second argument is the query variable. You may wish to treat traffic that results from certain search keywords as direct. For example, if someone searches for the exact name of your site, you may want to treat that visit as a direct visit instead of a search. To do this, simply add a call to add ignored organic in your Google Analytics tracking code. Specify the keyword as the argument. You can also treat referrals from certain sites as direct traffic instead of as referrals. For each site that you want to exclude as a referral and treat as direct, add a call to add ignored ref in your Google Analytics tracking code. Specify the name of the site as the argument.